In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the MicroStrategy REST API to push data into MicroStrategy. In a traditional BI environment, MicroStrategy pulls data from one or more datasets. The intelligent server populates MicroStrategy intelligent cubes with that data or renders it via an interface. The dataset API enables a REST client to push JSON data to a new MicroStrategy data import cube. Once the cube is created, Further REST calls can be used to add, update, and replace data. The benefits of this capability are that you can trigger data creation and refresh workflows from outside of MicroStrategy. You may have advanced data preparation or calculation logic that you wish to accomplish via a third-party tool. Once the data is available as JSON, you simply Base64 encode it and send it to MicroStrategy. You can use any language of your choice to construct the REST calls. This capability is great for supporting near real-time data publishing, where data is frequently updated in MicroStrategy cubes on the order of seconds. On the front end, you can have a MicroStrategy dashboard automatically refresh every few seconds to reflect the newest data. The REST API is documented at developer.microstrategy.com, which also includes a number of code snippets to guide you through the development process. Full code samples are available on the MicroStrategy community at community.microstrategy.com. Search for REST API sample. Let's look at a sample built in Python. In this example, I'm going to create a SQL Server database to get some data I can push into MicroStrategy, load the data into a list of dictionaries, dump the data to JSON, and Base64 encode it, authenticate to MicroStrategy via the login REST service, and then create a cube with the data. First, let's go over to MicroStrategy Web. Here, I'm in the My Reports folder of a user called MSTR. The folder is empty. Now I'll go to my command window and run a Python script. We'll look at that script in a moment. The script executed successfully. Going back to the My Reports folder, we can see that there's a cube. I quickly create a dossier from it. Now let's look at the code. First, we import some libraries, which are used for functionality like outputting Python data structures to JSON, accessing data in the database, making web service requests, and Base64 encoding. I specify my MicroStrategy project ID and open a connection to the database. Next, we execute a simple select statement against a table in the database. If you're familiar with the MicroStrategy tutorial sample project, this data is coming from its data warehouse. We read the field names from the return SQL and create a Python list and a Python dictionary. Next, we iterate through the SQL results row by row. For each row we retrieve, we populate a dictionary, and then we append it to the list. Next, we dump the list to JSON and then Base64 encode the data. Now it's time to start interacting with MicroStrategy. We use a login service to log in the user. We use a username and password as a payload. In return, we receive an auth token and a cookie. Next comes the detailed work of constructing the data payload. First, we name our cube sales data cube and define a table within it called sales table. We add the encoded data and define the columns for the table. Now, we specify the metrics for our table, as well as the attributes. There are four metrics and then two attributes. Finally, we invoke the dataset API, including the alt token, cookie, project ID, and update policy. At the end, we print out the HTTP response. 
Thank you for viewing this video on how to push data into MicroStrategy using the Dataset API.